I don't have a camera stand yet, so I may not look at the camera like that. It's kind of early in the morning. I'm gonna roll up a backy, but oh, not this package. I had some thoughts on my mind. Ah, life is throwing so many curveballs, man. I never thought that. I'd have this perspective on life at 31. Even to say 31 sounds unreal. I remember when I was 20 and I didn't even think that I'd be living till 21. So to be 31 is definitely a blessing. I've seen a, a lot of people not be able to get where I'm at living wise, you know? They feel short in our early 20s. And it seems like it was just yesterday, you know. Ugh, we're gonna lose so many people with this journey to wherever we're going. And um, one thing I'm realizing is like a lot of people don't need to be there to see certain parts of your life. They won't understand. They won't care. Most of the people in your life are gonna be like put there for a reason, whether it be for you to gain a perspective on yourself or just on the world in general. For me, it's being around success and being broke. You know, there's a lot of people who are successful in my family who wouldn't even think that I needed help or wouldn't help me if they had the money or they'll assume it's like my fault, you know, for wherever I'm at or if I need help. And that's fine, you know, they're probably right. You know, I don't like to use like my childhood as like an excuse to fail or make poor decisions, which I do a lot, you know. Um, but also have like a drive that's, you know, I feel like it came from somewhere and I try to use it to the best of my ability to stay on the road of life and go forward and help people around me. But um, there's so many people that you'll come across to where like, they're giving you some emotional intelligence you didn't have before. There's been plenty of people in my family who can change my situation, or at least to make it similar to theirs. But maybe for that time, it's not meant for me, you know, for what my growth should be and how I should be perceiving the world around me. Like if you have certain things just handed to you, you really won't appreciate the, uh, the beauty in your struggle, I guess because you don't know what those other people have or what they may have accomplished, but the thing is that they go to sleep with. And I had to put myself in their shoes. Like maybe I'd be a dick cause I wouldn't help like someone I see or I want to see or want to chill with, or I believe in them, or maybe I don't like, maybe it's ego driven, but I wouldn't want to switch with that person's burden of what they have to sleep with, regardless of what they have, because sometimes it's a lot heavier than what I can perceive. So if like someone has a car or a crib, I really never knew what it took for, as a kid growing up, you know, you might want those things because you don't have them, but you don't know what it took to have those things and enjoy them. And uh, maybe them people being around you are like their escape, like, He's like, oh, well, this person doesn't have X, Y, Z, this bag, that bag, this shoe, this shoe. They don't prioritize that. Maybe I can be myself with this person. I feel like I'm that for a lot of people. You know, like they can pull up on me and they know I'm not really egotistical. I don't own a lot of fancy designer shoes. I don't have exotic cars. I don't have jewelry. None of this type of stuff that you would think someone my age would be invested in but people get around me with those things a lot of times and they feel I can, I can feel their energy like 
coming down a little bit. Like the walls come down a little bit. I could tell like whoever they're normally around, they have to do it for them. And it's not even for self. But for me, it's like, I don't really care. I'm probably not even like focused on whatever you think that would impress me. Only time I get kind of like weird about it is like if there's anything that I can't necessarily do myself that is like something that should be a given. For a while, it took me time to understand that like another person's blessings could literally be my nightmare. And maybe my nightmare could be another person's blessings. Maybe the timing for certain things don't align right now, but maybe they will later. And maybe I will, I'll be more emotionally intelligent to accept whatever that blessing may be or perceived blessing may be. Because everything happens in time and it's on uh, God's time, you know? It's not on my time, it's not on your time. We have to appreciate everyone for the steps and where they're at in their life currently. Because we don't know if it's making them live in a hell or a heaven. It's like the bad bitch who live in like a mansion with, you know, a Bruce Wayne type figure or something. Like he's single because like, you know, he's out saving the world. She's out the crib probably like a couple nights and just like, I never get to see this nigga. There's bats everywhere. <laughs> it look good on the outside, but on the inside, they do it different. You know, I just wanted to post that video. There's some gems in there somewhere. Maybe there's not, but hopefully. I love y'all. Like, share, and subscribe if you think this video will help somebody. Um, I'm working on getting like a little mic piece so you can hear me a little bit more clearly. And I'll get like translation soon. So, um, You'll be able to understand me if you're from different parts of the world. But uh, prevail, stay true to yourself, be true to the world around you. Uh, know your time is coming. And um, don't let anyone else's success dictate your happiness. I think I might call this video that for myself so I can uh, get to realize that even more at this age, you know. I know I may have stumbled and rambled a little bit in the video, but uh, I'll get better as time goes on.